what's going on guys so today we're going to be working on installing the driveway in front of the shop i'm gonna walk you guys through how i've done this pretty much for free so stay tuned and smash the like and subscribe button So basically here lately they've been doing a lot of cutting up that road in front of my house so obviously they got to do something with the old asphalt millings now normally they haul it back to the plant but i got out and i talked to the foreman and just asked if he could spare a few dump truck loads of asphalt millings and he was able to work it out for me to get me all this asphalt millings so sometimes they might have just a partial load or maybe they're just getting behind with the trucks and it's just quicker for them to dump it right here now you probably can't go 10 miles off have them bring it from you from 10 miles away this has to be something probably within a mile or two or something like that of your house so it's not out the way for them to bring it to you so that's how you're going to get the asphalt millings and stuff you aggregate or whatever for real cheap to make this project very inexpensive all right guys so let's get on to work i had to go get the tractor unloaded from the trailer so we're going to go ahead and jump on that pull it off the trailer and start working on this. Right, so before I get started, I'm gonna switch shirts because it's a dark colored shirt out here. Well, it, it is hot. Let's see, it's looking at 90 degrees out there and the humidity is at 51%. So she is toasty right now. So I'm gonna go inside and switch shirts. All right, so I got the shirt changed. We're in a right colored yellow now. So hopefully I'll stand out to you. And it definitely feels a lot cooler than wearing that woven then gray dress shirt I had. So I already got the corner cleaned out from the, my little scrap bin and stuff there. So we go ahead, jump on the tractor and start dragging. All right, so we got everything scraped down with the scraper blade. There's a couple spots where I had to dig with the bucket just because it's so tough. The scraper blade wasn't uh, cut into it. So I cut into it with the bucket and then went back and scraped it. But uh, this is what we got now. So like I said, it's not really level. Main thing was just to dig it down deep enough. And then when I put the asphalt millings in there, I'll level out the asphalt millings. But I just wanted it deep enough to try to stop any kind of grass or weeds or something from growing through. So this is where we're at now. Let's go on ahead, start grabbing some buckets of asphalt and dumping it in there and see how far we can go. All right guys, so sadly I had to stop. Mother Nature, as you see, is wanting to start to rain on me. So we had to put a pause on it. For the most part, it's all the way out to the gate. So everything's on hold till the weather clears up. And I'm probably just gonna go ahead, get back with you uh, once it's all finished and let you see the finished product. 
All right, so the rain cleared on out of here. Uh, we got it pretty well finished. I still gotta go with the hand rake and clean up along the edges where it's hard to get with the bucket and uh, blade. But overall, I had enough to make it all the way to the gate and I put it down pretty thick. So you see there, it's about the same height as my ankle. So we're probably good four inches thick through here. So hopefully no grass or anything starts growing through it. Like I say, I gotta get the little hand rake and do these little corner sections. All right, guys, so the driveway's all finished up. I got her pretty well leveled out. She ain't perfect, but overall she's good. Uh, like I said, this totally would have been free to me uh, for just those two loads, because they gave me four loads for free. I just paid the 300 for them to keep bringing me more, just because they said the amount they was bringing me, they'd have to charge me something. But yeah, this would have been completely free to me if this was the only thing I was doing. So guys, if you're looking to do something like this and you're trying to do it on a cheap, cheap budget, uh, get with some of the these guys that's redoing these asphalt roads. And uh, a lot of times they'll hook you up with some that they grind, whether they don't want to haul it back to the plant for recycling or if they just got partial loads that they don't want to run all the way back at the end of the day when they go to stop or something like that. So also guys, if you saw in this thing, whatever on the montages or whatever, I did kind of, they look like drone shots, but I'm not fancy enough to own a drone. So I did something just very redneck. I'm gonna show y'all real quick. All right, so y'all remember me, uh, this burn barrel right here that you've been seeing in the background. So what I did is I basically took that burn barrel and then I got this 20 foot PVC pipe right here and i'm gonna have to set the camera down i'm gonna show you what i did so i basically stuck the camera in the end of this pvc pipe and then stuck the pvc pipe down into that and that's what i use for my high up drone shots so like I said, I don't know if you even call it drone shots or not, or if you just call it a fire pit shot or redneck shot, but that's what I did. So I thought maybe y'all would find that funny, me just a little redneck engineering for me to get y'all uh, some cooler angles or something like that. So guys, if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below and I will catch y'all in the next video.